When is one not like this one, but also not like this one? Which one is it? It's time to open your mind to the world of programming. Wow. He is the one. The basic principle of programming is properties of objects having particular values. But while our brains might easily understand that a book called The Policeman's Beard is Half Constructed has 120 pages, the computer needs a bit more help understanding that these are words and these are numbers. Each value can be, or must be, a specific data type for programming to work. So let's break down the common data types in programming and how to define each in this property value setting. A quick note, for this and other programming examples, I'm considering the programming languages of PHP, commonly used for websites, and JavaScript, also used for websites, but also what Adobe After Effects expressions are largely based on. Now starting off we have strings. Strings are a sequence of characters. It could be gibberish or more commonly words and sentences. Now all text is stored as strings and we define a string by surrounding it by either single or double quotes. I would say double quotes are more common for strings as you never know when you'll use an apostrophe. Next we have numbers. In JavaScript there's just the number data type, while in something like PHP we have two different number types. The integer is a number that does not have any decimal point, while a float on the other hand are numbers that do have a decimal point. There are other factors that come into play with data management of numbers, but that doesn't really concern us at this point. Both numbers in JavaScript and integers and floats in PHP are all defined by simply having the number appear after the equal sign. Next we come to booleans. They can either be true or false. Like a light switch being switched on or off or even your computer being turned on or off, it will always be one of these states. They're defined by either writing true or false after the equal sign but without quotation marks. Now arrays are groups of data types stored as a list of sorts. The stored items may be all the same data type, like different strings, or it may be a combination of data types. Here's the difference in how arrays are stored in both JavaScript and PHP. You can see that the brackets differ, but the general format is fairly similar. In Adobe After Effects, for example, most of the spatial properties of a layer are stored as arrays, representing the two dimensions that they move in. The null data type varies from language to language, but it only has one value, that being null. In PHP and JavaScript, it's treated as an empty value, and if you create a variable without giving it a value, it automatically becomes null until you set a new value for it. The final type for this video are objects. Objects can have their own properties that have their own values. Objects typically need to be declared as such and depending on the language have their own way to define a new property and set a value, as you can see here. So that's a quick breakdown as to the most common data types in programming, how each is set and what makes each different. In the next video we'll start looking at conditionals and how by using the if then else statement we can make certain things happen when a condition is met. Also I'm considering starting a Patreon to help support making more of these tutorials while keeping it free to watch. Let me know in the comments below about what perks you might like for helping support all that we do here. Until next time, my name is Bench, thanks for watching.